How's it going people, Simon Slabber here, and this is the brand new quest guide for Death of Chivalry, just come out now. Quest requirements, none, skill wise also none. You will be requiring some combat gear and you'll want 5 to 10 imagery spaces, the rest filled with food and maybe a superset and some prayer pots. Start the quest, come to Edgeville Monastery and talk to Sir Owen. So first up, almost every single question within this quest is multiple option, as in there's multiple ways to proceed. The reason for this is Jagex are trying to make this open ended so the next quest you'll suffer the consequences of your choices during this quest. So some of it I'll say choose whichever one you prefer and other times I'll tell you exactly where you need to press. But go through the chat with Sir Owen and eventually you'll get this cutscene. It's fairly straightforward. You'll get to this point no matter what choices you make. So, quickly run through the chat with Sarah Domin. And this is multiple choice again. There's no wrong or right answer for this bit. You pretty much choose to either align yourself with Tharadomin or Zamorak or another god or with no god. Those are pretty much your choices. Choose whichever you prefer and eventually you'll be offered the quest. Go ahead and accept. So keep on talking to Tharadomin and eventually you'll spawn some special black armor right by there. So as soon as you regain control, go ahead and pick up the suit of armor, it's on the back side of the monastery. And go ahead and equip all of it, as we're now going to impersonate a black knight, or Kintra. So, go ahead and talk to Zama uh, Saradomi once again. And eventually, he will then offer it to teleport you to the black knight fortress. Go ahead and accept. Upon which you'll receive a nice little cutscene. So as soon as you regain control, you might want to turn your camera around so it's facing north again. And the idea is we now have to get through the fortress with as little hassle as possible. So make sure you choose the same options I have. So to start up, try to enter, and the first option is 3. And the second option is 3 again. At which point you'll then be able to enter the castle. You want to head up towards the northwest corner. Part way through, you'll get stopped by Lieutenant. And basically, the options you want to choose for these Black Knights is the most evil one. So, for against the Lieutenant, the option you want to choose is the second one. You can tell if you made a right or wrong choice by looking at the top left, you see the attention of the Black Knights. If you do it correctly, it'll lower it. If you answer wrongly, it'll increase it by a large amount. So once you're in the northwest corner of this castle, try to head up the stairs and you'll be stopped once again. Ask him what he wants. And then tell him to stand aside. So once you've come up a level, you now want to head down to the very southeast corner for the next set of stairs. Upon entering the large room you'll be interrupted by one of the priests. Go ahead and say yes. Then choose the third option
and head up the stairs towards the southeast. You'll be stopped once again. So for this fella, you want to choose option one, then try to enter again. and then choose option 2 and finally choose option 2 once again so once you're back upstairs you want to head back over to the southeast, uh, northeast corner I should say sorry but you'll be stopped by the Lieutenant Gravis midway choose the third option and then tell him that the prisoner will stay with you, first option. Upon which Sir Owen will then knock him out. So as soon as you've regained control you can go ahead and search him for a bit of coin. And it's up to you which choice you choose here, you can either choose to kill him or tie him up somewhere. So for this part you want to head up the north east stairwell upon which you'll arrive in this ritual room. So this is the first little puzzle. Uh, go through all the options with Sir Owen and he'll tell you pretty much everything you need to do. The idea of this room is we now need to fix this ritual so we can get the weapon Saradon is looking for. So to do that, after you've gone through all of the options with Sir Owen, you'll then want to search the bookcases, the shelves and the desks just down towards your southwest. And once you've looked through all of those and you've gained yourself uh, three candles and a few bits of paper, you want to read the grimoire. So, as soon as you've gained control, start searching all the shelves. The first one you'll gain a bit of chalk. The next set of shelves, or the cupboard I should say, you'll find a bit of paper. And then just to the south of that will be a crate full of candles. You need three imagery spaces for the candles. Last but not least, there is a coal box, but there's nothing in there. The only other thing to check is the grimoire. It's the book standing on a little pedestal on its own in the middle of the room. Go ahead and read it. You can close that then. Then go ahead and read it once more and you'll start up a conversation with Sir Owen. Then take the grimoire. With the grimoire and all of the items in your hands, head on up to the ritual circle and go ahead and click to repair. Now the idea of this is you need to choose the correct magic circle then place the candles down then chant the correct chant. Best way to do this is write down these chants on the right hand side as you'll need them otherwise you can do it the same way I'm about to. For the magic circle choose whichever one you want to start off with initially and go ahead and confirm. Once you've chalked that onto the floor, go ahead and talk to Sir Owen and he'll tell you if it is the correct magic circle or not. This may be different for other people. I'm unsure. So the best bet is to check them all and then talk to Sir Owen. Though for me it was the circle in the top right hand corner.
So next up we now need to place all of the candles in each of the pedestals surrounding this magic circle. You want to place them in the northeast, the northwest and the southeast pedestals. To do this use your candle on the pedestal and then choose to replace the old candle. Do this for the southeast, northeast and then northwest. Then light the northwest, then light the northeast, and finally light the southeast. At this point, it's now time to chant the secret code. To find these codes, look at the grimoire and it'll tell you each one. Start at the northwest and choose the third option, then the fourth option, then the second option. Then go to the northeast candle, and this one is the second option, then the fourth option, then the second option. Then down to the southeast, this is the fourth option, the second option, the fourth option. I'm assuming this code is the same for everybody, so it, you should be able to follow along. Once you've successfully chanted the right chant, a portal will then open up. At this point, say no, I want to bank. So at this point, you now want to get all of your equipment or your combat gear. So re-equip all of your fighting equipment and go ahead and bank the Black Knight armor you received from Saradomin at the beginning of this quest. You can bank in the chest right by here in the same room as the teleport or the portal I should say. You may also want to bring out the rest of your food. Once you're ready go ahead and head on through the portal. So as soon as you arrive you'll be placed straight into a fight. You now need to kill three black knights. All of the fights within this little dungeon slash quest are all going to be scaled towards your combat level. So for me they're going to have the max HP and stuff they can because I'm max combat. If you happen to be 100 combat or 120 or 30 combat or anything at all below that the enemy's life, defense and attack values are all going to be lowered to your combat level. Either way, go ahead and kill all of these Black Knights. You'll need one inventory space. Next, as we need to search the dead Black Knights and eventually find a key. So once they're all dead, go ahead and make sure you've got one inventory space. and loot the black knights until eventually you find a key. So once you have the key, go ahead and unlock the cage the prisoner is in. And you'll then have a little conversation with her. Choose the fourth option. Then choose whichever option you wish. Now you want to head down towards the east and keep on heading downstairs. 
head through this first door and you'll appear in this little room here. If you happen to have high combat and stuff, remember this room as you can come back later and search all the coffins and you'll receive uh, new armors, a bunch of XP lamps as well. Though you do need to be a member for those bonuses. Go ahead and skip through Sir Owen's chat. And keep on heading down. So finally, once you appear in this room, you'll find a bunch of dead black knights all around. And finally, this NPC here will spawn. Go ahead and talk to her. And tell her you are ready to be judged. Choose whichever option you wish. and then choose whichever option you wish. And then you'll start a fight with Fern. It's a fairly easy fight. She has one special move where she'll basically charge at you and hit you with magic attack. Other than that, this fight is pretty simple. She does have a lot of HP though if you're at a higher combat level. So she's fairly straightforward, she won't do a massive amount of damage. But the fight will last quite a while. So, finally when she's died, you'll open the passage towards the weapon. So carry on down into the room, and next is a puzzle. Kind of annoying, and you may want to grab a piece of paper and pen for this bit. I'm not sure if this is the same as everyone else. But on this outer ring, there's a bunch of squares you can click. In each square, underneath will be hidden a different picture. You basically need to match up two of the same and you've got a limited amount of attempts at this. So you want to make a little square on a piece of paper and mark down what is in each position for you so you actually remember where they are unless you happen to have a good memory and you're good at this. So the basic idea is you make the pairs and they'll stay face right all the way through. Then you just have to match them with everything else. Fairly straightforward. If this is the same for everybody, then all you simply need to do is fast forward this just a little bit to see the final completed puzzle and you can simply do it that way. So once you've fully completed it, it'll then unlock the barrier. And at this point, go to try to grab the weapon, and 
you'll have a little conversation with Sir Owen. It's up to which option you choose. You can either choose to sacrifice yourself or Sir Owen, or try a different method. Entirely up to you. So you'll then receive a cutscene and the woman you free from prison will steal the weapon. So go ahead and head back up the stairs and talk to Dawn. Choose whichever option you wish. and choose whichever option you wish. So eventually she will disappear, teleport away, and revive the Black Knights and Sir Owen to try and kill you. So as soon as you regain control, go ahead and kill all of them. So once they're all dead, go ahead and follow after dawn by heading up the stairs and through the portcullis. So head on up into the main room and you will now have to fight against dawn. So the only attack you really need to look out for is that massive purple cloud thing. Basically she'll cast down and it'll keep exploding in one spot, say 10 times give or take, and if you're standing next to it, within it, or around it, it'll hit you for about 10% of your HP every tick. That's the only thing you need to watch out for. Randomly throughout this fight as well, she'll put up a force field, and she'll summon a bunch of skeletons to come help her fight. So right, right now. In order to deal more damage to Dawn, you need to kill off every single one of these skeletons. All the while, keep trying to avoid the purple smoke attack. 
but once all the skeletons are dead, a force field will go back down and you can start attacking her once again. This fight is fairly simple, although it does take quite a while, simply because she keeps on summoning skeletons and pouring up that force field. So as she gets closer and closer to low life, she'll start casting those purple clouds more often. But the tactic is exactly the same. Avoid the purple clouds, kill all the skeletons, keep wailing on dawn. And eventually she will die. So when she's finally dead, go ahead and search her body a few times. You'll receive a skull and the wand, as well as a key. Once you've got all of those, return back to the room where Sir Owen was and where you received the wand of resurrection. So head back on downstairs and through the portcullis. and this time talk to Sarah Domin. Throughout the entirety of this talk, go ahead and choose whichever options you wish. There's no right or wrong answer for these. Go ahead and search Sir Owen's corpse and you'll receive his shield. Go ahead and take it. Once you now have his shield and you've said a little prayer, go ahead and talk to Sarah Domin once more. And again, choose whichever option you wish. There's no right or wrong answers.
go ahead and talk to Saradami once more. Choose whichever option you wish. Again, choose whichever option you wish. Eventually you'll be offered to teleport back to Edgeville. Go ahead and agree. As soon as you return back, you'll receive quest complete. And you'll gain quite a lot of rewards for doing this quest. So if you're a free member, you'll gain a variety of knightly titles, a shield with an emote, You'll also gain some prayer XP and the Skull of Remembrance. If you remember and you have the stats for it, you can return back inside the dungeon with the skull, head into the room with all of the coffins, search all of the closed coffins, and you'll also receive full cosmetic armor override, as well as a massive amount of lamps and bonus XP. You'll also receive a Gilded Cabbage. And with that said, that is it. Quest complete. I hope you all enjoyed, found this useful. And go get yourselves a nice gold cabbage. So until next time, people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.